take that one. and that one, yeah? And take take that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite good. The sound effects, everything was really good. <laughs> I'm Bianca. And I'm Byron. Welcome to the self made home of entrepreneurship. So, Mrs. C. Yes. Question. Uh, Did the government scam us into getting diesel? Diesel cars? Yeah. yeah. I, I was, it was great that we were having these petrol conversations. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. I've got so, so many thoughts on that. Right, so, let's, let's, put, let's paint the picture first of all, right? Yeah. So, they said, you know, 10 years or whatever it was ago, longer. They said, okay, great. Everybody get diesel. It's better for the environment. Better for your engines. Uh, you know, it's the future. It's the future. Yeah. Fuel will last longer. Yeah. And, and then. And then they said, you know what? Mm, it's not really good for the environment. Yeah. Most garages complain that diesel ruins your engine. And in fact, if you drive into central London, or forget central London, if you drive into certain parts of London, we're going to charge you a surcharge. We're going to charge you an additional fee. Yeah. And in, in addition to that, in central London, we're going to charge you an additional fee. So when we used to take the range in, it's like, well, well, why is it? Why is it a surcharge for parking? Yeah, it'll be like it's two pounds or three pounds or four pounds, whatever per hour for a and then extra two pounds or so for diesel. It's crazy. So. We need answers. <laughs> I think they had a plan. I, 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 I so this is so a the multi, reason why multi. I like to think it's a plan is because yeah. otherwise the alternative is that they're just really strong. <laughs> and I think that that is not a positive alternative. <laughs> so I can only think it's part of a big master plan where they, you know, get a big ploy to, to make you invest in diesel and change your car and then suddenly, oh, as if by coincidence, you now have to pay all these extra fees and, and essentially taxes. They're taxes, aren't they? Yeah. They're taxing you. Yeah. And so I can't but road users, well. I always say, road users, homeowners, those who are employed, they are the easiest to tax. And that's why taxes will always, will always be there for, for those groups because yeah. they're easy to tax. Yeah. If, they want to, if they want to add an additional income tax tomorrow morning, there's zero you can do. You can nope. complain all you like. And we're not great complainers. Not great complainers, no. You know, we'll complain a little bit. At uh, home, bumble, yeah. And we'll crack on. Some countries now, yeah, it's protesting. war. Not encouraging that, but. Yeah. <laughs> at least a healthy protest. Yeah, healthy, peaceful protest. Um, so, yeah, so what's so Do you think, yeah, do you think just, they were just, I just incompetent? I don't, I mean, do think, what about, do you think maybe they were misled by the, 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 the scientists and the. So, and so those then, around so them? essentially, you're now blaming the car manufacturers then, because it must have been it the car manufacturers no, that told the government. No, absolutely not. I don't think so they had anything to do with them. I, don't, I think they are led by. Because the car manufacturer would have known it would have damaged the engine or whatever. No, no? I don't think. I don't think it's the manufacturers at all. Yeah. Well, if you know about this topic in a bit more depth, we'll be really curious. <laughs> we're just because I, we're just talking about this from oh look, that's, that's the uh, the chat like. yeah, really nice. yeah, Just talking about this just from a, how do they say a layman term, just, just from the outside looking in without doing. Months and months of research. Or any due diligence on research. But this is just how it feels. Yes, it feels. How do you guys feel? And this is how it feels for the fuel shortage, too. Oh, like, that feels like incompetence to me, too, because you must yeah, have let's, known. No, let's talk about that in another topic. Oh, no. Anyway, people, thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know your thoughts. Did they, did they scam us? Are we being scammed? This scam is harsh. It's a hard word, Byron. Was it a ploy? Yes, I know. It's a ploy. It's deceiving. It's deception. And it's worse. It's obtaining money by deception. In other in other walks of life, you go to jail for that. I wonder if there's any court cases for this. There must be someone must have started something. Yeah, because it's outrageous. Really. But we just take the slaps here in the UK. Just, they just yeah. Anyway, people, uh, le leave a comment, le drop a like or a dislike. We need to hear from the people. Um, and let us know if you want us to talk about anything in particular. And until next time, I'm Byron. And I'm Bianca. And self-made. Is a home of entrepreneurship. Take care.